A group of AISD parents, students, and even some concerned residents are speaking up about a bullying problem they say is going on within the schools. They are wanting to make a change to the school's bullying policy following a video gaining a lot of attention on Facebook. Arena Bell Tuggle spoke to this group and AISD about the current bullying policy. Learning the district deals with these cases daily. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. Rocky Flores posted this video on Facebook because he says his daughter is getting bullied and he feels as if Abilene ISD's bullying policy doesn't move quickly enough to address this growing and complex issue. But how many times does a child have to get bullied for you to realize that your guidelines are not, they're not working? The video gained thousands of views and hundreds of shares and families started reaching out to him saying they felt the same about their children. I have over at least 60 messages, probably over 60 plus phone calls. And a group of residents met up at Sears Park to discuss getting the school's bullying policy changed to speed up the process. I don't condone school shootings. I believe that a lot of them are the result of being bullied. Students even spoke out saying they're tired of being bullied. It should be a safe place where you can be yourself and not be shamed or made fun of. I just want to have a nice sixth grade year and not have to worry about what's going on. This group says they'll try to get changing the policy listed as an agenda item at a school board meeting. So there isn't one way to deal necessarily with every situation. But Dr. Gustavo Villanueva at AISD says their bullying policy largely comes from the state, and since these cases are situational, they try to stop each case as quickly as possible. We're given a guideline that it not take more than 10 days. In general, that's it's gonna be much sooner than that. Dr. Villanueva says he's willing to have a conversation with this group and analyze ways the school can grow. This is a conversation we'll have with administrators. Are we looking at it immediately and addressing it as immediately as we can? But he also says he wants administrators to be diligent. However, Flores and the others say they won't stop until something has changed. The goal for this group right here is for our children to go back to school safe. In Abilene, Annabelle Tuggle, CareBC, Abilene Local News. Thank you, Annabelle. The school has a channel on their website called Speak Up for Safety, where students can anonymously tell school leaders about their concerns. To see the school's bullying policy and guidelines, go to our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.